Hello and welcome back. I've changed my face cam border to be thinner. Um, I think it looks a little better that way. I'm also trying out a new microphone audio setting, so this episode sounds kind of weird. That might be why. Um, we'll see if I keep it or not. But regardless, let's get back to the game. Uh, last time we went through the harrowing to start the third trial and we won or we beat it or whatever you want to call it. Um, so now we have to find that cave of the incarnate cavern, but and we got some clues on where it is. Uh, I think it's over here somewhere, based off all the clues we got. But I think the most immediate concern is to sell our stuff. Our inventory is quite full. We have a lot of valuable items. So... The problem is, is most of the vendors in this game uh, suck. I do, however, remember there is a vendor that has quite a bit of gold. And he's one of the better vendors. He's like a special vendor. Let's go to Aldrin. I think uh, it's like a scamp guy. He's like a little goblin, gremlin, demon thing. And I believe he's in a town called Caldera or something. I, I'll know it when I see it. I think we can warp there with the um, with the mages guild. Warp you guys. But let's check out some spells too. Probably want Night Eye. We kind of suck at magic at the moment, but kind of you can make your own spells in this game, and the, the way it works is you already have to know the spell, and then you can like make your own version of it. So I'm gonna kind of buy things that silence might be useful. Maybe an open would be useful. If there's like a resist magicka, that would be awesome. Don't. I think we might buy fire damage, and frost damage, shock damage. Not that we're going to use those spells, or even make our own versions of them, but the way enchanting works is it also is based off the spells you know. I think. So, if we want to say, like, add fire damage to our weapons. Um, levitate might be good to know. Um, weakness. I don't. I would also like to know. I wonder if shield. Maybe shield? I'll buy a low quality shield. So we have some stuff to play around with. I'm sort of. This is like way in the future. I don't think we can really make any spells or enchantments with the way my character is right now. That's worth anything. Uh. Meet our requirements, Soren, but you have not yet completed the duties. Uh, that's a quest. I don't really want to do Mage's Guild quests at the moment. What kind of training. We can always train our enchant and stuff up as well. Uh, Okay. 
We can also steal things, like... That might be useful. Like, when we do want to make our enchants, we should go to Mage's Guilds, like in Balmora and Vivec and stuff, and scope out if they have, like, some build soul gems that we can steal. Caldera, I think that's where this guy is. I'm kind of going off memory. It's been so long. Enchanting. Oh, he won't even let me enchant. So, if we want to do enchanting, I may have to do some major guild quests. Which I suppose is not the worst thing in the world. Visibility, that's useful to know. Oh, it's Chameleon. Don't know what Recall is. Probably another fast travel spell, but... At least at the moment, I'm pretty happy with the intervention spells. Those get us, um... Those get us back to major towns and we can kind of go from there. Wow, she has a lot of spells. Poison. No resist magicka that I can see. Okay, so I have to kind of remember where he is. He's in a larger house. It's not in the castle. What are these places called? Pawnbroker. I don't think that's right. Yeah, this place. He's with a bunch of orcs. Here we go. The creeper guy. Yeah, that's right. Um, oh. I remembered him having like nine or ten thousand gold before. Probably all the, the mod suite that I have installed adjusted it. Because they probably thought it was too cheap. <laughs> or like cheesy. Which is fair, I suppose. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Um, so... 5,000, eh? I think that's the most we can get for this stuff, you guys. Okay, let's sell the glass halberd. There was something over here for 1600. The Dwemer shield. Then we can pop. Oh, he doesn't want the amulet. Fine. 4925. Offer. Great. Uh, we have 8,000 now. So now here's where we do some cheesiness. It takes uh, about three days for a vendor to reset their gold. So we are just going to wait three days. I know. I know. But we gotta do it, you guys. We need that money. Money, money, money. I wonder if we can, like, so this is 525. I wonder if we can get this back. Do that. 
Then we can sell the thing back to him. Right? Then we can... We can kind of do the same thing again with the other 5,000. This thing. Oh, he doesn't want. Fine. It's just... Want this? Oh no. Yeah. I don't. I'm not really making use of these enchanted arrows, and they're like just one off of things. They're just kind of cluttering up my shit. You can get rid of that too. 7,000. E. He can give me 46. This is 7,000. So let's give him that. And take back this offer. Getting a lot of money. I don't think we really need cure paralysis. We don't need that. Levitate's useful. Restore fatigue can be useful. We'll keep those scrolls for now. I don't want my raw grunt. I'll stay off the cup. Twimmer tube. Let's do it. Offer. Now the big one. We got this 20,000 gold one, right? So we're gonna give him that, but he can't do 20,000. So we're gonna take back the 7,000 sword and the ebony helm and the halberd. And 
then we can resell those back, right? And then that way we actually get the 20,000 gold it's worth. See? You gotta do that. You gotta do that barter, the barter dance. So. Now we'll sell the ebony helm and we'll take back something cheap, like there. I'll stay goth cup. That's exact. We're up to 32,000. Wow. We're, we're rich, you guys. Okay, we're almost done. No, it's probably really boring. Let's sell the halberd. And... I wish I could sell that. At least it doesn't weigh much. Anything else we can get rid of? Let's sell the cup. Oh, Ebony Dagger, of course. Didn't even sell those two things. So that's 500... 87.50. Then... Maybe, maybe I do want to put that back to something, there's something small. Take that back, that back. We'll get everything sold eventually. Probably super interesting, right? I know. Okay. Now we'll sell this ebony short sword. And that thing back. That's it for this round. Let's see, we just have this to get rid of. Can't sell that. Ah, oh yeah. Let's get rid of those. So I think we got two more rounds. We gotta sell the $7,000 sword and then get some kickback items. And then we can sell the kickback items. And we'll be done. See, like, and that's the thing where it's like, I don't know why the mod maker made him only have 5,000 gold. It's like, you can just work, get around that. Like I'm doing right now. 2,500 is almost exactly. Offer. Forty-five. Wow, uh, we're gonna have like close to 50k gold. Pretty awesome.
Well, friends, that is how you do the Morrowind Vendor Shuffle. Get the maximum value for your goods. Our inventory is now very empty. We're down to 131. And we've sold almost all of the really valuable stuff we have. We don't need the Dagoth Cup anymore. We're up to 48,000 gold. Which means we're gonna go on a shopping spree. Shopping slash training spree. Because I want to... Uh, up my mysticism. Well, mysticism's okay. What I really want to do is... Yeah, I'd like to actually up my mysticism and restoration. It'd be nice to have both of those around 30. My illusion. Also be nice to be upped. So once our restoration is up high enough, we can cast cure spells pretty easy. Training. Mysticism. Sure. We're gonna get that up more. Got it to 30. So now we have a 79 chance for Almsy intervention and a 76% chance for divine. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Three force chance to cast each spell. Pretty good. Ooh. These filled soul gems. I'll have to do that later. More training, please. Travel. I could travel. Where should I travel to, though? I guess now that my vendor thing worked so well. How much gold did we spend on the mysticism? 6k. Um, we'll just save all of our really high valuable stuff and just sell it there. We'll kind of have to make trips every once in a while. This appears to be a smaller mages guild. What if I go to, let's see. You're the travel person? No. How does enchanting work? Oh, right, you won't let me see. How about we travel to Balmora? I know there's a restoration trainer there. What spells do you have? Still looking. Oh, so there's resist fire. Spell absorption. Ain't good. I want to know if there's um, or is this magic training? Let's get the illusion up, too. I see. <clears throat> Hello. 
Oh, we can level up. Right, because illusion is one of my major skills. Do I want to level up yet? Let's just test. Okay, you know, I'm fine with this actually. Um, we'll do willpower, endurance, and personality. Oh. More take off the er. Oh no, it's somebody's gonna attack me. Journal has been updated. I don't see it updated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep having to clear my throat today. Um, so, training. Let's go more illusion. I'd like to get it to thirty as well. There we go. So now let's check our illusion spells. Like Night Eye here. That's an illusion spell. Oh, 82. Okay. I was looking at this one's the open door. Uh, yeah. Invisibility has 76. Visibility strong. I forgot I had invisibility strong already. Uh, training. So I want to find a restoration trainer too. Training. I already did miss them. I think I already talked to them. Wasn't there a restoration trainer in here somewhere? Thought. Painting. On. Can you train me in restoration? Oh. Oh, I can enchant. What if I wanted to enchant my thingy with fire damage? Fire damage. Don't want fire damage on self. Target? Touch? Don't have any soul gems. Forty-seven, eight. Not exactly sure how any of that works. I did it unequip me. Okay, you guys. I swore there was a restoration trainer somewhere in this Falmore Mages Guild. Right. I mean, we've trained our restoration. It started out as five. Restoration. What? what am I blind? I guess so.
Okay. We now have spent approximately 15,000 gold. How is our heal spell doing? 70% chance. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now, mysticism, restoration is willpower. Mysticism. You know what I really want is to bump up my intelligence. I know we're kind of already at the end of this episode, but running around training things is not exactly exciting entertainment. So I'm going to see if I can't. I am a sleeper. Bring you a message of Dagoth there calls you. Soren, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. You guys keep telling me that. Okay, so... I... Th I want to bump up... I want to bump up my security. But she would... Is intelligence. You would think that would be. I don't really care about sneak. Sneak is a thousand gold a pop. Yeah, sugar lips. Sugar lips. Security. There we go. Let's bump that up. Let's, in fact, let's bump it up to 40. Rest and meditate. Okay, so we got willpower, intelligence. My agility is like already maxed out. Speed. Can we up my spear? Personality, maybe? Personality or speed. All right, that's the guy that doesn't offer services. Yeah. I'm sure you don't. I need I need to train something. Mercantile. That's personality. Suit mercantile. Okay. Now we can go sleep. Double up again. Go back to Caius's house to do that. Then I think we'll cool it a little bit on the training bonanza. I mean, we obviously we still have tons of gold, but I think it's fine. Sleep for like five hours. Okay, so we're doing intelligence, willpower, and personality. Yeah. So we're level 16, getting up there. No end in sight. I'll have 30,000 gold. We're doing pretty well, I think. I wish I knew what Recall did. But you have to like, it's like a, <laughs> to use WoW terms, <laughs> it's like a Hearthstone or something. Like, I can set a Recall place and then use Recall to go back there. I'm guessing. We'll see. In any event, uh, we have definitely reached the end now. I think we're probably like five minutes, maybe even ten minutes over. So goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.